Video game companies are a dime a dozen nowadays, and it's easy to forget where most of them end up. Some of them end up being absorbed by larger publishers like EA or Activision, some of the lucky ones get to go out in a blaze of glory, and some, well, some go down with their pants around their ankles, drowning in lawsuits and awful PR stunts. Guess which one we're talking about today? Acclaim Entertainment was founded in 1987 after former Activision employees set out to start their own video game company. The name was deliberately chosen to be above Activision on the alphabetized list, which is a tactic Activision itself used when splitting from Atari in 1979. Acclaim started off porting Midway's arcade games to the console and publishing foreign games that didn't have an American publisher. We can also thank them for the countless licensed titles from the NBA series to The Simpsons to the WWF and even to the Mary Kate and Ashley brand. Acclaim were thought of as one of the more successful publishers in the world of video games, turning over $500 million in 1995. They started acquiring development teams such as Sculpture Software, Iguana Entertainment and Probe Entertainment respectively. After building up their first party development squad, they went and built their very own motion capture studio at their headquarters. And who the fuck do they think they were, Disney? But being on top of the food chain doesn't last long in this industry and Acclaim felt the pain of that fall all too well. Now here's where the fun bit begins. Over the years Acclaim sold themselves in the news for quite a lot of reasons, most notably for the most outrageous marketing campaigns that we're going to go through now. To promote their game Gladiator Sword of Vengeance, Acclaim wanted to have advertisements for it in bus shelters, which would spill fake blood. Uh, they dubbed this Bloodvertising. The advertisements would remain there for a week spilling blood onto the pavement and street cleaners were hired to clean it up after the run. I searched high and low looking for a picture of this but I wasn't able to come up with anything good so if someone out there has a picture please share it with me over on Twitter. Now from one blood soaked sport to another, tennis. Yes, Acclaim had their hands in the proverbial modern day gladiatorial sport of tennis too. And to promote virtue of tennis, they thought it would be a great idea to unleash a horde of homing pigeons at Wimbledon with the game's logo painted on the birds. Are we seeing why this company died a death? Uh, speaking of death, Shadow Man 2 Second Coming, yes that's the actual title, released on March 2nd 2002. And to promote the game, the big brain marketing department thought it was a great idea to offer to pay for the funeral costs of the recently passed family member. That sounds nice, right? But wait, there was a catch. The families would have to agree to have an advertisement for the game on the tombstone. Because when I go shopping, I usually like to browse headstones to help me decide what brand of fabric softener I want to buy. But the fun doesn't stop there, folks. When Burnout 2 was releasing, Acclaim thought it would be a good idea to foot the bill of anyone caught speeding by camera on the day the game released. Needless to say, the stunt was pulled as the UK government slammed them for potentially inciting excessive speeding and dangerous driving by people who think they can get away with it. Acclaim spokesperson Sean White stated that they wanted to ease the financial pain a bit and taking the side of people who enjoy driving fast it therefore seemed like quite a logical option to offer people caught by camera something that would make them feel okay about it. Acclaim's marketing ideas were going the way of the dinosaurs it seemed. Uh, speaking of dinosaurs, Dark Evolution was set to release in September 2002. Given that Acclaim were probably sweating looking for a way to climb out of bankruptcy, they decided to run a marketing campaign which if someone were to name their newborn baby Turk, they would win $10,000. Turns out five people did. And then it turned out they were all actors. I mean, come on. Who'd name their child after a fictional character from a game or a TV show? Ah, oh, for fucking come on! But that wasn't all. In a weird last ditch effort to keep the wolves at bay, Acclaim went gun ho and decided that instead of making another Dave Mirror freestyle BMX game, they'd make a weird BMX XXX, a raunchy BMX game for obvious reasons I won't show you. This saw the derailment of the Dave Mirror series and with only one other title published after this mess, it didn't really come back. And if that wasn't bad enough, Dave Mirror sued Acclaim for reported $20 million after Acclaim used his name and likeness to promote the game after both sides decided to disassociate Dave with the game. This wouldn't be the last time Acclaim were sued either. In 2004, Dual Star Entertainment, the company that manages everyone's favourite 90s child stars, Mary Kate Nashley. Dualstar sued Acclaim over Acclaim missing a payment of $177,000 after a licensing agreement was terminated due to Acclaim supposedly abandoning the franchise. Dualstar claimed they missed the payment date of April 1st, 2004, and as a result, they sought to recoup all the monies it was owed, which came to almost half a million dollars plus interest, a final figure around $660,000. It also demanded Acclaim destroy any unsold inventory of its Mary Kate Nashitals by the end of the year. All those lost GBA games. What a fucking shame. 
The abandonment of Mary-Kate and Ashley brand video game franchise by acclaim is a single dark spot in an otherwise unembellished success story of the Mary-Kate and Ashley brand across a myriad media and territories, ranted Dual Stars lawyers in a letter sent to acclaim chairman Greg Fishback. The final nail in their coffin was a lawsuit filed from Jess Spangenberg, founder of Iguana Entertainment, you know, the company that acclaim kind of took under their wing at the start of their life. They were also behind the NBA Jam and Turek series. Spangenberg filed a lawsuit after he was fired from Acclaim, accusing the CEO, Gregory Fishback, of tricking him into buying bad stock options for his company before being fired, causing him to lose over 20k. He also claimed that Fishback was pressuring him to release underdeveloped games with or without bugs, as a quote, as a means to make a quick profit. Side note, Spangenberg also went on to create Retro Studios, creators of the Metroid Prime Trilogy and Donkey Kong Country Returns. So, uh, good for him. Coupling the lawsuits and poor overall sales figures of their games, Acclaim filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy on August 30th, 2004. In September 2005, a complaint filed against founders and executives sought damages of $150 million by investors. By 2006, most of Acclaim's IPs had been sold off. In August 2005, former Activision executive Howard Marks purchased the name Acclaim for a reported $100,000. In the beginning of 2006, he formed a new company called Acclaim Games. The term no such thing as bad publicity gets thrown a lot around these days. Acclaim were definitely making headlines, but it wasn't for their games. And I mean, if the games were solid titles, maybe it was justified? This radical company out here making waves with wild PR moves to prove the next 9.6 from IGN makes a cool story. But it wasn't. It was far from it. You can whip out all the marketing stunts in the world to promote your product. But if it sucks, it won't matter how many people name their son after it. And that's it. That's your lot. And that's the story of Acclaim. If you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you want me to cover something similar let me know in the comments uh, i'm going to be starting a new series called backlog reduction soon uh, where i play a game i always wanted to play or something that piqued my interest throughout the years i'll be streaming the games over my twitch channel and then make a video about the game on the channel here so if that interests you make sure to come and uh, subscribe to me here and and come on over to my twitch and and drop a follow as well uh, to keep up with the date with the series thanks for watching and i'll uh, see you next time